Okay, the Road Devil is back. Rocking and rolling in overdrive. Gear jamming. In Belarus. So here we go. Oops. We're back on the road. Hauling furniture. And not long until the sun starts to come, so that's good. Yep, fair play, I did have my brights on. <clears throat> and we get into some of the, the rougher sections of road here. Which I'm glad they added that in, because... Uh, Smooth, flat roads are not a characteristic of large parts of Russia and the former Soviet Union. They are usually quite rough. Alright, let's get the cruise up. Let's see where we are. Okay. So, we got, we're just rolling straight on through. Uh, but once we get here, then we've got quite a few choices. So, this stretch and this stretch are the, are the tough ones uh, on this section. Getting from Belarus to Russia is the rough part. Now, this is all Belarus down here. Orsha, Mikhailov, Mstislav, Slavgorod, Gomel. Uh, Bryansk is Russia, so there's a border crossing somewhere around here. Roslavl's Russia, Smolensk is Russia, so this is kind of the border right here. Um, and we've got three different ways kind of to go across it, so. I guess what jobs are available are going to determine which border crossing we end up using. But hopefully it won't take us too much longer to... Uh, to get a job up to St. Petersburg because I've never been there either personally or <laughs> or in this game uh, I have not played the Eastern Express map yet but uh, I'm thinking about trying it out especially while I don't own any garages in this part of the map in this career uh, I may disable this map and add Eastern Express Assuming that it works with MHA Pro. If it doesn't, no, I probably won't. Uh, I may just start a whole new career for uh, for Eastern Express on its own. <clears throat> and the sun's just beginning to peep up over the horizon. Which is good because it's pretty dark and lonely and boring driving through the countryside of Belarus at 3.45 in the morning. Although apparently the birds are starting to wake up. Since there's nothing to talk about and there's nothing to look at right for the moment, I'm going to whack the radio on. Самый масштабный концерт за всю историю группы Пилот. 6895 And since we're in Belarus, I didn't think it was that much of a stretch to put Nasha Radio, the Russian radio station on. And I know that they won't be making copyright claims about the audio against this video. Because they're good like that. So uh, we'll have a little background noise, at least till the sun comes up and things start happening. Or I get a little chattier. This is called Morska. That's like... Oh shit, I'm speeding. <coughs> Let's 
sometimes there's cops in here with a speed trap in these villages, sometimes there isn't. And in the dark, kind of difficult to tell. There he is, look. Sneaky bastards. So yeah, I would have gotten a ticket had I been uh, speeding. Passenger train rolling through the night. I rode through the night on one of those. And it wasn't as bad as I expected. Not at all. Of course, that was a first class cab and not a third class. Which is like a prison car. It's just a load of bunk beds with drunk Russians sprawled all over the place. But I'm sure it's an interesting experience back there. I do like this time of morning. I don't often get up at this time of morning, but uh, when I am up, I, I kind of like being up at that time. tractor on the side of the road. Yep. You don't want to abandon that overnight there, buddy. Two hundred and sixteen kilometers. That's not very bad. We'll get through that before you know it. See, I like that they've at least put uh, places where you can you can stop for a rest in these villages, even if they haven't. Um, like you can always rest at the DPS station, from what I've seen. Uh, but I like that they put another one up here. So at least there's something in these villages where you can stop, rather than uh, you know even if there's no uh, delivery points, there's at least something to do. Or a place to stop if you need to. But I think they should add delivery points to these because it, it would be much more interesting to me. I'd like to see some more uh, original models and textures for uh, Russian reformers. So, no way, buddy. I'm first. You bastard. But, to be fair, I guess he does have a larger engine than I do so far. You just wait, pal. It won't always be that way. Resume the cruise control. So, mining or uh, some sort of a agricultural deal there. There's a lot of cool stuff around in the countryside in Belarus in this map. And they, they really did put some, some effort into that. So I'm hoping that Minsk is as interesting and exciting as the rest of the countryside here. Because 
Because when you get up around Slavgrad and uh, Mstislav and all that, there's some really cool stuff uh, going on around there, which we will see. <clears throat> but first, we've got another 160 clicks to go to uh, Mosul. This guy will get ahead on collision, most likely. <clears throat> oh, if we can bump it up to 100, yes, we can. Very good. distance is another thing I wish they would fix in this game. Not so much in front, although that is partially an issue, but in the side mirrors, I really wish they would improve the quality of rendering and the draw distance because you see things disappear because they're just not being drawn anymore. Uh, well, you can still see them in the mirror. And to me, that... Uh, that really kind of shatters the illusion of immersion that you're wanting. But overall, pretty good. Uh, 114 seems to have improved a lot of the textures. So that's good. I'm happy about that. Uh, far from perfect, but definitely solid game. 8 out of 10 at least. Oh, yes, God. I had forgotten about this. Every time. Every time. Uh, I'm going to be waiting a while. As you can see it up there, the red light. Nobody coming. But we've got the red light. Oh, EW truck. Huh. One of those are based on another chassis. I've never driven one of those. I don't think I've seen a mod for a drivable VW truck. But here we go, at least. I'm surprised it didn't change right there and find me. Oh, wow, it should be so cynical, right? Hey, maybe that's the one I dropped off uh, yesterday. Huh. There we go. Resume cruise control, 100 kilometers per hour. That's still only about 60 miles an hour. On some of these roads, it's a little hairy even going 60. Especially when they're blasting through a village. And there's the cops. Ready and waiting. Four clicks to go. We're down right there. The origin, orange beast. Maybe it should be the orange devil since I'm a road devil. Uh, it's 
sun is lovely. Coming through the trees properly. Really did a great job. Now why would on earth would I want to slow down to 70 right here? because it's an unbelievably bad road. <laughs> that explains it. day ahead of us for this next job anyway. Although, okay, we got five and a half hours left. So that's good. We can make some good time. But unfortunately, we're going to be sleeping through most of the day. Which kind of sucks. off. The sun is well and truly up. It's like a nice day. And we are on our way into Mazu. It looks like it's right off the, uh, the main road here delivery point, so that's good. I like that. Although it'll be some... Oh, okay. It's at the TNT one. I thought it was going to be some crazy unmarked uh, you know, tiny uh, freight lot. So this is the river that runs past the infamous Pripyat uh, near Chernobyl. because that city was called Pripyat. And this is the river that it was named after. There are at least some interesting uh, freight delivery points. In Belarus, there's uh, some grocery stores and stuff like that that are really quite difficult to uh, deliver to because they're real tight quarters uh, and you, you kind of have to go out on the road, turn around, and back in off the main road, which is very difficult uh, because there's a lot of traffic. And without a co-driver, you got nobody to go out there and stop them for you. But I'd say I've got this down pretty well. You pull in, you make a circle, you pull back out until the trailer straightens out. You fire straight back in. Especially with something straightforward as a, whoops, as a, you know, curtain side trailer or a regular uh, 53 foot trailer. When you get into issues is with the oversized loads. Uh, I'm not in a yard like this, but if you're hauling some massive digger to uh, one of the MHA Pro Roadwork lots or something like that, it gets pretty hairy. And here we go. Furniture delivered. Enjoy. 
4,600 euros. Get out of town. That is awesome. I did not expect us to make that much money. We do one more of those. I'm uh, level four. So, looking forward to that. Let's see where else we can go now. We could go to Orsha. That's up here. Ooh, Shilka. I like that. I might actually do that one. Hmm. I'm wondering why they're offering me so much more money. Like 3,700 euros more to halt floor panels instead of a Bradley? Seems a bit odd to me, especially when they're all going to the same place. I guess that's FedEx over GLS for you. Although, what do I need the money for? It looks like we're going to Orsha no matter what. So yeah, let's haul the Shilka. That is the one cool piece of equipment. We can't go straight across. There's a bit of a guardrail there. So I guess... Instead of messing around with U-turns, we'll just uh, take a little spin through the city itself. See, they've modeled the uh, Orthodox churches in uh, almost every town in this map. I thought that was pretty cool. Shit. I'm supposed to do Actually, it doesn't matter. What am I doing? It's causing problems. This thing really gives you weird uh, kind of directions sometimes that I never quite understood. So much like in real life, you do have to uh, pay attention sometimes and not just blindly follow the uh, the GPS directions. Not so much in here, but for example, uh, if you're hauling an oversized load uh, and the GPS has you going through very small roundabouts. I learned this the hard way. If you just take a few, these are just the devil. Uh, that's not so bad going into these just in the truck, but Jesus, so if you've got a load, especially an oversized one, forget it. I don't know how you ever get in there. I, I have not been very successful with those so far. Damn cool, and that is that is one hell of a piece of weaponry. Most recently, at least from what I've seen, uh, I have not seen those used in uh, eastern Ukraine and Donbass uh, region. 
whatever you want to call it, uh, anytime recently, but uh, I have seen them used as uh, anti-sniper platforms in uh, Syria to devastating effect. So I'm coming through here, bud. Tagged a little masonry there. And nope, we didn't hit that guy. Awesome. Yeah, it is not fun getting out of a, a docks or inside those that arched courtyard like that with a, a trailer at all, period. And it's even less fun getting into one with a trailer, especially when it's oversized. Forget about it. I think next time I'm just going to have to not view the sidewalks as out of bounds because I honestly don't see how else I'm going to be able to do it. paint until we're uh, able to put the larger cab on it. I think once we get out of the city at least, it'll be a little smoother sailing. It's only 9 in the morning. Attention. Here we go. Off on the Porsche Adventure. So, how are we headed? Okay. Got a bit of a drive to Golmel. I guess I'll try to stay there for the night. Maybe this is like some kind of a cool truck stop or something out front, but I doubt it. There is a cool truck stop out front of Baryansk here. But anyway. Just put the cruise on, log the miles, see what happens when the yawning starts. saying this is an eight hour drive 500 clicks yeah that makes it that's that makes sense how long have I got four hours okay so we'll be about halfway there before I have to stop and sleep This song is awesome. The band Nautilus Pompilia is probably best known for its appearance on the soundtrack to the movie Brat, uh, or in English, Brother which is probably one of the greatest post-Soviet Russian movies of all time. It's awesome. As is Brother 2 when they come to America. So if you haven't seen 
those movies. I highly recommend them, especially if you have any interest at all in uh, Russian culture and that sort of stuff. I own them both on DVD, of course. So no trains coming. Because we are not stopping. Is that okay? I think that one was stopped. Nope, that train was actually moving. <laughs> I think we may have narrowly avoided a disaster there. The Orange Devil. Going down the road with some heavy hardware. Whoops. Almost rolled off the road. But it's not terribly easy to control when uh, just fly over bypass mode, whatever you want to call that camera view. Okay. Let me turn the radio down now. Oh, yeah, we gotta we gotta slow down for the for these turns. This is also taking us into an area of quite dodgy pavement, if I remember correctly. Yep. I have used uh, some of the Kamas and Maz uh, trucks in this game. Um, if you want to see me use more of those, especially uh, while we're doing the Russia map and Belarus, uh, just let me know, and I will. Most of them are, are pretty bad, though. Uh, I'm definitely enjoying my uh, my new German truck here. Um, but whatever, whatever you guys want to see, just let me know. Do you have any mods to recommend that you want me to try out or just that you think are really good? Please let me know. Uh, yeah, to me, this the mod community is what makes this game as awesome as it is. Nyepara River. Coming by. Oh shit. Oh shit. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> I think that may be exactly why they have so many wrecks there. There's people doing dumb shit like that. But, it's way to go. Ooh, there's DPS. Slow it on down, boys. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And I definitely am not running Russian Traffic Pack, and I should be, because uh, most of these vehicles really ought to be Russian, and they're not. But we will get that sorted out. I'm not going to do it right now, though. Actually, I will. We've got 35, almost 35 minutes in, so we'll go ahead and pull over. Actually, we'll pull over up in this gas station up ahead. Okay, I got two hours twenty. It's eleven in the morning. So if I stop to sleep now, we'll be in the marshal by midnight, including sleeping. Whereas if I go for another two hours and then sleep, 
We won't be able to be there until 2 in the morning, so it'd be an all darkness drive. Which I don't think that sounds as exciting and great. So, so what we'll do is pull in here. Draw the curtains and uh, get to snoozing. Cheers for not slamming into me there, bud. Usually, when I, I don't really need fuel, but when I stop in a place that has fuel, I tend to fill up because it's better safe than sorry. You never know when you might get caught out. Okay, we'll see you next time and I'll have the proper cars loaded up then as well. Thanks for watching.